Hey everybody, it's James with Boca Coast, and I'd like to share some tips and techniques for catching bait fish with our new Boca Coast bait fish chum. First of all, you want to get out here as early as you can, uh, usually about 60 to 45 minutes before the scheduled sunrise is the optimal time. You want to come out to your chosen area and post up and pause for a moment and look to see if you can see signs of bait. One major indication is going to be what looks like raindrops on the water and that's bait fish. They like to pop on the surface and another good indication is a diving bird, especially a pelican. Uh, they're usually diving on bait. So if you can see the bait before you anchor up, you have a big advantage. Uh, and what you want to do is uh, anchor up about 10 to 15 yards up current if you can and while you're paused and looking for the bait you're going to see which direction the current's going in and so you can get yourself in a position to where the chum is going to get a slick built and go out to where the bait fish are and there's probably going to be other boats out on the flat already if you're in a good spot that's known so you want to not only be respectful of them, but you want to have your own slick. If your slick goes into their slick, or even worse, goes to their boat, they're going to catch all the bait, and the bait's not going to go around them to get to you. So you want to get in a position where the chum is going to create a slick and a trail coming to you. And when I first come to a spot, I try to make sure I'm at least 40, 50 yards away from other boats if possible. Give them plenty of room so I have my own slick. I figure out which direction the chum is going to go. And I drop anchor quietly. Uh, don't splash your anchor. These fish are very skittish. And they have two missions in life. They want to eat and not get eaten. And things are trying to eat them all day. And a big advantage to getting out here you know, a little time before sunrise is that they can't see the net coming as well. The further the sun gets up in the sky, the better they can see that net coming and they can see you coming and they're gonna swim out from underneath the net. We've got some bait coming up to us. We've anchored up. When I first get here, what I do is I throw a couple handfuls of chum in the water to get it working for me. And I just drop these in couple handfuls you don't need to make a ball out of it you just sprinkle it in and I put it in right about the center of the boat and that way it'll sink down and start to float back up and about 10 to 15 feet away the bait will start to ball up in that area because that's where it's going to come back up to the surface uh, you want to try to get into about three to six feet of water if you can uh, and have your chum go out to where the bait is. The bait's either going to be shallower or they might be out deeper but wherever they are you want the current and your slick to go out to them and bring them to you and this is the time where you want to be quiet and be in stealth mode. I throw a couple of handfuls in so the chum is working while I'm getting ready. And I turn the bait well on, uh, make sure that's functioning properly, uh, get my net ready, make sure it's not twisted up, and uh, be quiet. You know, don't pound the net on the, the deck of the boat. That'll scare them away. Probably see the bait's already starting to show up. I've been here a little bit. Uh, I wanted to have enough light for the video. So then I start chumming, and I get about maybe a golf ball size piece in my hand, and I sprinkle it, again, next to the boat. You don't need to make a ball, you don't need to mix it with water, uh, you just want to sprinkle it next to the boat and kind of a line if you can. And that will start to create a slick out to where the bait fish are and they'll start to follow it in. And you can see what looks like little raindrops on the water and they're starting to come towards me already. And you want to be patient. You know, that first throw that you make is going to scare them away. So you want to make that first throw count because it might take a while to get them to come back close to the boat. And so don't get too excited when you see them coming close to you to where you, you throw a banana and then scare them away for the next 30 minutes. So I usually chum like this and every 15 to 20 seconds, um, throwing in about this amount and just sprinkling it in and just keeping a good slick going 
and you'll see pinfish start to show up almost immediately in the chum slick and that popping on the water that you see is an indication of the bait coming if you sit here for 15 20 minutes and chum and you don't see any bait you might do a blind throw just to see if they're staying deep and they're there if you throw and don't catch anything you can have all the best chum in the world and if they're not there they're not there you might want to move you know even just a hundred yards and you might find the bait and so I'd <clears throat> I'll chum for maybe 10 15 20 minutes to where I can you know hopefully see a lot of bait right in my target area so I'm right about here about 15 feet away from where I want them to be where they're coming in now is where I'm chumming and as I get ready to throw the net and I feel satisfied that there's a lot of bait around I'll load the net very quietly in my hands and then I'll come back here and I'll chum for another minute or two throw another couple handfuls and then quietly and slowly step up onto the deck of the boat and get ready to make your throw now when you first step up they're probably gonna scatter really quick because they'll see you just wait a second be patient and throw another handful about five feet away from your target area and then get your net ready load it in your other hand get ready to throw wait a couple seconds for them to come back and at that time that line of chum that you just threw in should be right in the dead center of your target area and you should be able to just absolutely load up on them and don't overfill your bait well they need plenty of room to swim around in uh, if you put too many baits in your well they'll just die uh, so you want to you know, have enough bait for the day but not too much to where they can't get enough oxygen hope you guys catch a lot of bait and if you have any questions you can reach us at bocacoast.com you can get bags of chum at local retailers and online and you can join us on our facebook group at boca coast florida thanks for watching